Usually when I'm the most focused on the subject matter is the initial stages of the painting when I'm sketching it out. There are a million and one directions you can take with a particular idea. That's when I have to focus. I'm really thinking the most about the storyline, how it's been depicted, how I want this to come across to the viewer. That's really when I'm meditating, focusing, praying on that idea. I got my start wanting to do comic books. Figures, heroes in action with exciting dramatic art. It came to me later in life, I mean certainly after I was working for the church, that uh, the career path that I set out on when I left for college, that I'm really doing, but I didn't have the vision at that time to see where it would go. I was dressing a mannequin one night and I had Spider-Man 2 playing in the background. I kind of laughed, I thought, huh, Spider-Man's got nothing on Mother Teresa. And it was like, that's when I thought, wow, all right, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing uh, paintings of heroes, but these are the real heroes. It's people that have a real impact and they're costumed and they're exciting and there's a lot of narrative there. That's the type of work I was put here to do. And a, an associate of mine really made it clear to me when he used the word vocation, that I, I moved from doing art as a job to really understanding that art, and specifically art for the church, was my vocation. When I initially met with Bishop McIntyre that January, um, I mean, the, the project was pretty open in the sense that the only thing he set out for me was the people that were going to be in the painting, the size, and the age of the Christ child. When you look at the image, the first thing you're supposed to look at is Christ. And not just because it's Christ, but everything was orchestrated so that the gazes are all at him, the light and shadow, the colors all direct you to him. So really, I mean, the ultimate intention for the painting is, as a family being the domestic church and the larger church, that's where our support is, is from, is from relying on Christ through the good, through the bad, but it's that all eyes remain on him. The inclusion of, of Saints Anne and Joachim was specifically requested by Bishop McIntyre to expand the whole idea that this meeting is about the entire family. It isn't just mom, dad, children, but it, it's addressing the needs of the greater family and strengthening the families in the 21st century. What I tried to do is pull in elements of the cathedral, the Basilica of Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul, that it, you know, where the painting is situated, when you look to the altar and to the painting, you can see there are elements that I drew from the altar and put into the painting. The, uh, the upper right and upper left, it's a coat of arms of the Archdiocese of Philadelphia and the coat of arms of Pope Francis. So again, it ties it to Philadelphia 2015, which is at the bottom, and Pope Francis. So 100 years from now, when someone looks at the painting, yes, it's painting the Holy Family, but it can be remembered that this was done for Philadelphia in a very particular, exciting time for the Archdiocese. What I do now is use the talents that I have been given, and I've worked to perfect, serving, my brothers and sisters in Christ and the church at large. All sacred art has to have a dual function. It has to be didactic and contemplative. It has to teach and it has to bring the parishioner, right, the Christian into focus, focusing them towards Christ, towards the divine. What I would hope people would, would think when they look at the work is that this is a guy that really wanted to serve the church and help his you know, fellow parishioners focus on Christ and, and really find a deeper uh, meaning in their experience at Mass.